coming in on the line this morning. We're still a little low, but it's okay. Uh, Amos 9, 13 through 15 from the Message Bible. The Lord is so good um, to all. And his tender mercies, I'll say it again, are over all of his works. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord, for this is indeed the day that the Lord has made. <clears throat> and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to start off this morning um, by my confession of faith that I happened to write about an hour ago or so on Facebook. And I want to start here this morning as a precedence to our teaching this morning. Uh, today, here's my confession. Yes, Amos 9, 13 through 15. The Lord's decree. It won't be long now is what it'll say. Um, today, I am standing on the promises of God. It is the season of manifestation. He is, thank you, a keeper of promises made. I will say that's what I continue to hear in my spirit. I'm going to keep reading. He is a keeper of promises made. He is a keeper of promises made. That's my spirit, but my head and my sight, natural sight, my feelings, my experiences are not lining up with what does not appear to be lining up because they have no other choice but to line up um, what, what my spirit knows. I'm going to encourage you as we have been talking and the Lord is going to continue to deal with us and talk with us, I think, today uh, about winning in spiritual warfare. We started that, I believe, on last week. However, I want to continue reading my post again. Today, I'm standing on the promises of God. It is the season of manifestation. You ought to just say it. It's the season of manifestation. And we don't leave it out there, any manifestation. But we're talking about the things that God has promised for us. A lot of times we get a word from the Lord and we just wait on it. No, 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 no. Often you've got to war for it and fight for it. And when you get close... <laughs> Closest to manifestation, the enemy does everything, and I'm ahead of my text this morning. But so I said, today I am see, singing. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you've been so, so good with every breath that I am able. I will still sing of the goodness of God because except I believe to see, I would have fainted. Yes, ma'am, I see that. Except I believe to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I would have fainted. Except I believe to see. So the enemy is after your faith. He's after what produces for you in this earth, that which God has promised you. And so I was reminded after I wrote that and I wrote it on, um, I guess I could have just read it, but I wanted you to see it if you're looking at the chat I was reminded of the Message Bible, Amos 9, 13 through 15. And you know, I've been quoting for those of you who are in our ministry or follow us, I've been quoting for quite some time. Uh, it won't be long now, because that's all I keep hearing. It won't be long now. It won't be. And the more I say that, and the more I say he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, the more I say it is the season of manifestation because he is a keeper of promises made, uh, the more the enemy does what he is doing to try to thwart me or get me off guard. And I'm not just talking, if it's happening to me, so goes the head as it is the body. And so here is our equipment, our warning. But Amos 9 and 13, I choose to believe the report of the Lord. The Bible says, yes, indeed, it won't be long now, Dr. Holmes. God's decree, things are going to happen so fast, your head will swim. One thing fast on the hills of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once and everywhere you look, 
Blessings, 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 blessings. Anamashata, everywhere you look, blessings. Everywhere you look, blessings. Everywhere you look, blessings. Everywhere you look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off of the mountains and the hills. I'll make everything right again, the Bible says, for my people Israel. Then he goes on and gives some things that shall happen for Israel. They'll build their ruined cities. They'll plant vineyards and drink good wine. Ooh, I love it. They'll work in because you got to understand what wine and vineyards represent. They'll work in their gardens and they'll eat fresh, fresh vegetables and I'll plant them. God says, I'll plant them. I'll plant them. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. But the scripture says, and I'll plant them, God says, plant them on their own land and they'll never again be uprooted from the land I've given them. Uh, God, your God said so. And then I continue to write, it's a day of victory and manifestations of the Father's good promises. Decree it, believe it. Is there something I need to know, Chaplain Haywood, privately, or is that just general? Decree it, believe it, expect it, fight for it, manifest it. And so this morning, I, I was awakened a little bit before four, probably about 3.30 or quarter of four this morning. I was up listening to the Lord. I, I wrote that because yesterday when I just yelled out uh, my confession, the last two days, God has been uh, prompting me. My spirit has been prompting me to encourage and make decrees in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. And I, I, after I decreed yesterday that it is the season of manifestation, although I've been saying it. Um, but last night, by the time the day was over with, I was still standing barely, but I was standing, having done all to stand. And I wrote a nighttime reflection, and I'm sharing this as I springboard the word of the Lord. My nighttime reflections, I'm going to bed this morning like I got up this morning. And that is in victory. Now, what you got to understand is that ain't what I felt, but that's what I know. And that's what I'm trying to help you with today. You got to win in this season of spiritual warfare. When we put it out there, listen, when you're being a blessing to others, when it's your time and your, your season of nearing manifestation, the enemy is going to do everything he possibly can. And I'm going to teach about that today. I confessed last night as I went to bed, I got up, I'm going to bed now. <laughs> I made it to the bed, Jesus, hallelujah. Like I got up this morning in victory, I still win and God is still a keeper of promises made. It's promised manifestations season, say it. It's promised manifestation season, amen means it is so. And then I said, I was led to share my spirit inspired decree this morning. The, the Bible notes that thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. The enemy is after the establishment of your decrees. Oh, I never said that before, but I just heard that. Hallelujah. I know I said that I have encouraged someone today to believe God's decree versus the enemies. I've said something over the last few days to strengthen you in the fight and in your faith. And I'm not taking it back. Instead, here's more fuel for your fire. I'm giving it to you, beloveds. Look for it. Call for it. Continue to decree and expect to see the faithfulness of God because it won't be long now God's decree. Refuse to cast away your confidence because it has great recompense of reward. Refuse to change your confessions. God is faithful. Do not change your posture. Expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. Fight and stand. You know, I like a good fight. A good fight is one that I win, not one that I get beat up on and don't win. I might look like I've been in a, in a war and in a battle, but I got to come out standing and winning. Even if I am rocking, I'm going to be the last man standing. I decree and declare when it comes to me and the enemy, I'm going to be the one to stand. Come on, how many of you are right there? You got to say the right thing so you can see the promises of God manifest. Watch your mouth. We're going to talk about it and watch your heart, guard your heart. 
The distractions are meant to make you change your confession and lose your hope. You ought to, oh my God. Then I, I just saw the visual of Rocky in the ring. <laughs> and he said, I got a whole lot of more. I got a whole lot of more. You got to have in this season a whole lot of more. How many of you got a whole, come on, say it. I got a whole lot of more. Now, I didn't say I have a whole lot of more. No, sometimes I got a whole lot of more. I got, come on, I got a whole lot of more. Come on, bring it. But don't give in. Fight like hell against hell, knowing it is so. It is so. Yes, it is so. I don't have no voice this morning. He will do just what he said. You win. God is not a man that he should lie. Then I confess hell tried it today, but Satan is defeated. God is exalted. Jesus is Lord. It is the season of promised manifestations. It won't be long now. He, my God, is a keeper of promises made. And so I went to sleep for a few hours. God is good. Aman shakatata. I see you. Thank you for your response. And this morning, in addition to the Amos scripture, the Lord began to talk with me about the arsenal of the enemy. The arsenal. I told you last week how important it is because we are supposed to be living Zoe. We talked last week about Zoe being possessed vitality, springboarding from uh, the last um, Bible study, pastor talk, go back and look at it. Um, possessed vitality, fullness of life, active and victorious. And he said to us, either God has done it, either he hasn't done it, or you don't believe it. But if he says he has done it, or that he is doing it, then he is it's just when we get in line with and agree with the enemy that we lose the manifestation of our promise. We lose in spiritual warfare because we believe what we see. We believe our experiences. We believe our feelings. And I don't remember how the Lord said that or where he said it, but it was fresh off the press last week. We believe what we experience. We believe more than the word of God, that which we see, that which comes into contact with our physical senses. We believe our, our spiritual, our six, five senses, excuse me, over our sixth sense of faith. The way we win this warfare, the way we gauge a good warfare, hallelujah, is that we live by our sixth sense. Last week, I began to tell you often, as I wrote in my book, I see dead men walking. There are people who are showing up shouting, ru shouting, running around the church, praising in the congregation of the upright, and that's good, but they're losing the warfare in the middle of when they're not in church because the enemy brings out his arsenal and the Lord began to talk to me about arsenal, the arsenal of the enemy. My God today, God wants you to win. He wants you to win. He wants you to wage a good warfare because you're saved. That does not mean it just automatically happened and manifestations come. You've got to fight. You've got to fight the good fight of faith. You've got to win in spiritual warfare. You've got to fight to live Zoe, the God kind of life, a life full of possessed vitality, fullness of life, active, victor victorious. You've got to wage a good war warfare and bring the things from the realm of spirits into the realm of the natural. And you can't do that being a spiritual faith wimp. Is my living in vain? Is my believing in vain? Is my singing in vain? No, it's not in vain. I just heard the Clark sisters. It's not in vain. We don't want to just gain later eternal gain. We need to gain the manifestation here on this life. And, and I said, Lord, he said, 
It's the arsenal of Satan. They need to understand the arsenal of Satan. I said, hmm, the arsenal of Satan. The arsenal. Ah, Musha. I said, what is it? <laughs> he said, it's okay. They got to understand it, but I've got artillery. I've got, and you've got, as long as you access it, all of the things that you need to withstand him. The In your arsenal, in your spiritual arsenal. But let's see what arsenal means before we go into prayer this morning. A collection of weapons and military equipment stored by a country. The kingdom of darkness has its own See, I'm getting all this revelation is flooding in. By a country, a person or group, a place where weapons and military equipment are stored or made, an array of resources available for certain purposes. I'm not military, but I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. And some of you military people can really work this out better than me. So I'm just giving you something to start and go after it. But we are soldiers, y'all. We This is not a tiptoe through the tulips. Once we get saved, everything is always wonderful and lovely and why is listen you're in a war this is a war you are in a war can you wake up and understand that this is spiritual warfare you're in a war and it's not your tongue bullets you shoot up to the heavens this is a war and we have got to wage a good war if we are going to represent our kingdom well he went on to say, he began to teach me and share with me some basics about Satan's arsenal. His number one, listen to me, people of God, his number one biggest weapon in his tank of arsenal, in his arsenal, his big, 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 biggest thing is discouragement. Can I get an amen? And discouragement comes so many different ways. Sometimes you become faint in the waiting, in the season between the amen and the there it is, between the thank you God shout run around the church. We put a time limit on God for the manifestation and we begin to get faint when it doesn't come as this microwave society produces so many things. I still keep telling you, you can't hurry God. You've got to learn how to wait. You got to trust him and give him time, no matter how long it takes. But sometimes you got to understand he's a God you can't hurry. But sometimes it's not God, it's us. It's us wavering. It's us not being consistent in our fight. So the enemy brings discouragement, discouragement, discouragement. And how does discouragement come? In a lot of ways. Bad news is one of the major things. Yesterday was one of those days, oh my God. It seemed like one thing after the other, after the other. I started off like, what? I was like, Wah. it was amazing. I started off amazing yesterday morning. And then hour by hour, one thing after the other, after the other. And my spirit kept saying, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. <laughs> Mm -mm. I don't know if y'all can't see me, but if you can't see me, I, I got my fingers holding my lips together because I could hear all of these things that the enemy wanted me to say about every situation. And, and, and listen, by the end of the day, the situations got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then we're going to talk about it. It was like a, a Job day. And we're going to talk about Job. Discouragement is huge. Be on the lookout. Uh, 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 Satan as a roaring lion. Get that scripture for me, please. Uh, Satan as a roaring lion. I ha oh, wait, wait, never mind. I got it. Uh, let, let's, let's look at, uh, first Peter, uh, chapter five verses six, seven, eight, nine, uh, six says, therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. Let me exalt you. I'm reading now from the amplified casting the whole of your cares. Listen, all of your anxieties, all of your worries, all of your concerns. Listen, when I tell you the enemy 
tried to attack almost everything from my children to my business, to the finances, to my body, uh, to all day long yesterday. Casting that would normally create, if you're not on guard, casting the whole of uh, your care, your anxieties, all of your worries, all of your concerns, once and for all and for him, uh, on him, for he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. You see, there is a posture that you must have to take as a soldier. And I get accused all the time of being hard. And if you know me, it's a lie that the enemy makes you speak because I'm not hard. Uh, that 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 I'm, I, I just don't understand. I know that there is a posture that you have to take. It's a mindset which creates a posture to fight a good fight of faith. And you have to live there to win in victory. You can't come out in milly mally, be all sweet. No, 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 no. There is a mindset. And so when I say things like, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. People say, I mean, how could you be so hard? You need to be more compassionate. Shut up and get your mindset right. When I say I don't care, that means in this sense, cast the whole of your care, all of your anxieties, all of your worries, all of your concerns once and for all on him, for he cares for you. He cares for you affectionately and cares for you. Some of you care too much. And instead of casting your care, you carry your care, which makes you live in worry, which makes you live discouraged, which makes you, sometimes I'm just like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. And what I'm saying in my spirit, I'm, and I don't have time to come down and explain it for, for, for P mindsets, little mindsets. You got to catch some things in the Holy Spirit as you grow up. You got to grow up in God and stop being so sensitive to everything. Part of that is a distraction for you because the enemy, listen, the Bible says, this is what I want you to understand. Be well balanced, temperate, sober of mind, be vigilant and cautious. Listen, not sometimes, but at all times. This is why my stance is my stance for the enemy of yours. Listen, the Bible says for that enemy of yours, the enemy of yours, the devil roams around like a roaring lion in fierce anger, seeking someone to seize upon and devour. He's looking for the weakest link. He's looking for the open door that you have. I'm going to prove it to you. The instructions of the Lord says, withstand him, be firm in the faith against his onset, rooted, established, strong, immovable, and determined. That's a mindset, guys. We win here. We win here. We wage a good warfare here. The battleground is the mind here. You can't act like a whip and be a soldier. You can't think like a wimp and be a soldier. You can't cry, run, scurry, scared, and be a soldier, an effective soldier in the army of the Lord. You can have the title, but not have the manifestation. You can be positionally speaking, speaking by God where he wants you to be, but you keep giving up your seat. The Bible says, knowing the same identical sufferings are appointed to your brotherhood, the whole body of Christians throughout the world. And after that, you have suffered a little while. The God of all grace, who imparts all blessings and favor, who has called you to his own eternal glory in Christ Jesus, will himself complete and make you what you ought to be, establish and ground you securely and strengthen and settle you. To him be dominion, authority, and rule forever and ever. Amen. Y'all, 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 y'all. Satan's arsenal discouragement, bad news, repeated attacks. That's what happened to me yesterday. One thing after the other, after the other, after the other. After the other. I didn't even talk about some of them. One thing, there was some things I talked about uh, where I could and, and other things I just, it was just, it was like I was in a boxing ring on yesterday. By the time I went to bed, I, I was so tired. I, I just, I, I just, I, I just got to the room and just fell on the bed. 
engaged in spiritual warfare, but doggone if I don't win. What else is in his arsenal? The enemy, the Lord said it to me this way. The enemy has bully spirits. <laughs> That's what he said. I never heard that before. He bullies you. The enemy tries to bully you. What do you mean by that? He gives lies against God. You know, thank you for sharing that. Someone said that was me yesterday. Someone else inboxed me a few other things. So, so often I recognize I fight for other people. Then I recognize I'm in a fight for other people. That's a whole nother discussion. But if he can get the head, there goes the body. So I understand what's happening and I keep my feet positioned. I mean, when I tell you money, appliances, kids, situation, people attacking kids, the enemy attacking my body. The, when I tell you Stupid people messing with my money in my account. Other money missing. Listen, it's just like he would not quit yesterday. It was the day of Job's day. We're going to talk about it. Bully spirits. God said, be careful because the enemy brings lies against God. And that goes back to, to Genesis 1. He tries to make you uh, fear and deal in your feelings, and he deals with the power of suggestion. And did God really say, come on, come on, come on, you close. Did God really say you need to, you know, give your pledge to God, really? I mean, come on now, you see what's going on in your life. You see, after all, God understands your heart. Did God really say you could never do that? You could never have this? Did God really say you, re come on now, did God really say that? C Come on, somebody tell me I'm talking to you. That's This is what the Holy Ghost said. These are his things. Bully spirits, lies against God. Oh, he's not going to do it. He ain't going to come through. You believe in this stuff is foolery. Come on, he, he, listen. He never ceases, yes, from being hostile towards us. Bully spirits, that's what he says. And this is how the bully spirits operate. Come as lies against God. Did God really, God ain't going to do it. That's stuff you believe in. Come on. I know y'all been in church a long time. But if he still does it to me, I know he's got to suggest to some of y'all, is there any truth to all of this? Am I believing the truth or is this all a lie? Is this real? Is this really? I know what I believe, but it's, come on, come on. Uh-huh. Uh, fear. It's not going to happen. What if it doesn't happen before this time? Man, I God talked about that the other night. What if it, we put God on a time clock? He's not bound. I keep telling y'all about time. He's a God of timing. He moves in a time so as to produce the most res effective results. We just got to cooperate with him and stand, having done all to stand. Then he brings fear. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to have it in time. They're going to take the house. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. Lies. Feelings. I don't feel like I can trust her. I don't feel like I can. I don't like people. I don't have, that's why I guard myself. That's why I don't. Lies. Feelings. I feel like I want something sinful. Your feelings don't matter. You don't have to live by your feelings. I've taught you that all of, if you've ever been under me a week. You can't be moved by your feelings. You can't live by your feelings. You can't go by what you see. Then he has you lying on God. God told me to leave my season, my time. It's a lie. It's a lie because you ain't do nothing in this season. The powers of suggestion is one of the biggest things besides discouragement and the repeated attacks. See what he does all in one day is try to wear you down. I made them decrees and all in one day, if I don't, I can't get you, I'm coming this way, I'm coming this way, I'm coming this way, I'm coming this way. I, it has been a very long time since I've been attacked. Probably if I write them down, maybe about 15 major ways yesterday, one after the other, one after the other. And, and I get through one hour and then another, and then like, what? The powers of suggestion is big. Did God really say Eve? Did God really say that? Is that what he really said? You think he really meant that? That's the powers of suggestion, which produces for you, if you are not standing firm in the faith, it produces confusion, doubt, and twisted thinking. Come on. How many of you, he's been trying to twist your thinking, but your spirit is fighting for you? Yes, sir. your head doing something, but you, what? Deep down, come on, I need a witness this morning. I need somebody to preach to me, with me. Let me know I'm talking to you. Well, it's twisted thinking in your head, but in your spirit, you're like, you know what? The, the devil is a lie. I know, I know, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. 
I got them duck lips and I'm holding <laughs> my lips again if you can't see me. Yeah, twisted thinking. Yeah, do I need to keep coming to church? They just want your money. I, don't know. I mean, listen, it's one more thing after every time I turn around, it's money. Every time, oh, and I don't have any money. Look at this. This is happening to us. This is happening. This is happening to my children. Or, oh, you coming after my kids? Or just after my kids? <laughs> Business dealings looking crazy. Come on, come on, somebody. But it won't be long now. I said yesterday, oh, he tried it. And he's going to, let's look at Job before we close and pray today, because we're going to get fortified in the faith. The devil is defeated. Say it with me. Satan is defeated. God is exalted. Say, repeat after me. Jesus is Lord. I wage a good warfare. Come on, come on. This is coming up out of my spirits. I need, out of my spirit, I need you to say, it. I wage a good warfare. Mm -hmm. I fight the good fight of faith. I win. I live in victory. I walk in victory. I stand in victory. I am victory. I win. I've won. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I'm not giving over to fear. I'm not giving over to discouragement. He's bringing them. Oh, I see you. Satan as a roaring lion is seeking whom he may devour. He's roaming. He's walking around and trying to find your weak spot to get in. That's why the instructions in first Peter chapter five says, be well balanced temperate, sober of mind. Some of you like to drink a little. This might not be the season so you can stay sober in your mind. <laughs> be vigilant. Be cautious at all times. This is the hour to be like this, watching. I'm on watch. I'm on guard. I'm on watch. I'm on guard. Nope, 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 no, 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 not on my watch. No, 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 I'm not confessing that. Friends around you saying the wrong thing. No, 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 mm -mm -mm. no, we're not saying that. We're not doing that. No, no, I'm not yoking up with you. Nope, I'm not hanging out with you today because you wavering. I, 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 I gotta, I gotta fortify. I gotta fortify. I gotta fortify my heart. I gotta fortify this position. I don't have time for lackadaisicalness because I'm in a fight for my life, for the manifest station of the promises of God. And I believe that it shall be even as it was spoken to me. I am not going to give in. Be vigilant and cautious at all times for that enemy of yours, the devil roams about. He ain't a roaring lion. He's trying to act like a roaring lion and he's coming roaring with this bad news. That's why one of my favorite scriptures is I will not be afraid of evil tidings. That's bad news. My heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. I trust in the Lord and do good. Trust in the Lord with all of thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding and all of your ways acknowledge him. People came after me yesterday with emails that wanted me to cuss. They, they wanted me to cuss them out and I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. Jesus have mercy. That that thing came back. Y'all know I dealt with that a while back. It came back. I listen, listen, listen. Who resist? <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on, yell at somebody. Don't do it. My little cousin, when he was little, he would he was a little different. He would get under the table and he would talk to himself because he was not always the best little boy. And he he would talk himself out of doing things by saying, "Don't do it, Clarence." Don't do it. <laughs> you got to maybe sit under the table or rock on your chair or say it out loud at your desk. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do that, Myra. Don't say it. Don't respond. Don't react. You're going to have to wait on the Lord to respond. Don't react. Don't react. Don't react. They're pushing your buttons to get you. Come on. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Miss Seely. <laughs> don't do it. Come on. I know I ain't just talking to me. I'm trying to help you. Let's look at Job. Pastor mentioned this on Sunday. Job chapter one, real quick, and then we'll pray. Tell me if I'm helping you. Tell me if I, because listen, I want you to get everything God has for you. And in this season, the enemy is coming after you. He ain't playing because he's after you to stop the manifestation. You are right there. City of God is right there. There, this ain't the time to get distracted in your feelings. She offended me. I'm not coming back. I'm not doing this. I can't. I, eh, 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 eh. Prayer warrior. Resist. Pray. Stand. Haven't done all the stand. Where do you think the enemy is going to perfect you at? 
for those of you who are on this line, not just in my church, in our church, City of God, but those of you guests, if you go to a church and you run away from a church because you're having challenges relationally in that church, chances are God is going to trying to work something out in you. And who is he going to use? He's going to use the people around you to do it. That's why your family sometimes are the ones that make you go, don't do it, Siri. <laughs> don't lose it. Don't beat them. Don't fuss them. Don't give up. Don't shut down. <laughs> yes, what? Didn't I teach you better? Why you, I don't know where this is coming from. This is attached to me. Well, but didn't I teach you better? Why you keep making them dumb decisions? Why you keep doing that? Why you saying that? Come on, you know better. Come on, some of you are encouraging your friends right now. Get up, let's go. Come on, get up. I'm not gonna let you, not on my watch. You can't lay down here and fall out. Let's go. The Bible says in Job, so I can pray for you. Job chapter one, verse five. And when the days of the feasting were over, chapter one, verse five of the book of Job, Job sent for them to purify and hollow them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. Listen, listen why. The next word is for in my Bible, which is translated as because. For Job said, it may be, that my sons have sinned and cursed or disowned God in their hearts. Thus did Job at all such times. Do you know we can do spiritual things? Listen to me. Holy Ghost said this this morning, never thought of it before. He was motivated for the sacrifice. But do you know we can do spiritual things for the wrong reasons and not get the spiritual manifestations or the benefits thereof. That's deeper than you caught. We can do spiritual exercises. We can give spiritual offerings, whatever they are, money or sacrifices of your time, whatever, spiritual offerings motivated by the wrong thing. I'm gonna let you sit on that. Fear. Anxiety. The Bible says Job did that. You don't see that in this verse. Let's go back. He was making all these sacrifices and stuff uh, for his sons. He says, because it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed or disowned God in their hearts. Thus did Job at all such times. This was the open door for the enemy. How? He's making sacrifices and covering them in prayer. He didn't just cover them in prayer. He covered them, hoping, fearing that they might just do this. So I don't want them to disown God. I don't want them to sin. I don't want them to curse God. And so I'm going to keep making these sacrifices. I'm going to keep, because the motivation or the root of the motivation, I hope you can hear me, was fear. The expectation of covering was good, but the root, there was a root of fear just in case they would disown, just in case, can y'all hear that? Can anybody, can, can two people at least tell me they understand what I'm saying? Say, how can you back that up and be true, Pastor? Well, go over to chapter three of Job. If you read it, you find out that right after that, Satan comes and has a conversation uh, because he saw the little, the little crack. Satan has a rowing line seeking whom he may devour. Yeah, he's walking to and fro. That's what the Bible says. We, we looked at that in First Peter, seeking whom he may devour, whom he may. He's looking for an open door into your affairs, beloved. He's looking for, and for Job, it was fear. It was fear. He's making these sacrifices. He's doing these spiritual things for fear of, but yes, to cover, but in fear, I don't want them to, to, to curse. I don't want them to sin. I don't want them to curse God in their hearts. And I might not never see what their hearts are. So just to make sure, I don't want them to do it. I want them to love God like me. The root was fear. So it was the crack. All right, let me prove it to you. Then we go pray. 
go over to Job chapter three, verse 25. But before we get there, after Satan comes and have this con con conversation the, and, and God gives him the right to go ahead and touch his stuff, how many of you would stand as the enemy becomes touching your stuff and not curse God? You'll start evaluating over and over again where I missed it, what I did wrong. Or, or then, then we get to the blaming God. God, Job never charged God foolishly. Never, even without a Holy Ghost living on the inside of him. He never, and then one after the other, after Satan came and the Lord said, uh, then Satan answered the Lord, does Job reverently fear God for nothing? Have you not put a hedge about him? I'm verse nine, chapter one, verse 10 now. Have you not put a hedge around his house and all that he's had on every side? You have conferred prosperity and happiness upon him in the work of his hand. Listen, I wanna tell somebody if he did it before, he'll do it again. So if you feel like you're in the season of losing, that's okay. If God did it before, he'll do it again. That's what's happening. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. You have conferred prosperity and happiness upon him and the work of his hands and his possessions have increased in the land. But put forth your hand now and touch all that he has and he will curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, behold, uh, had said to Satan, the adversary, the accuser, like we saw in, in, in first Peter, your adversary, Satan, the accuser walking about, right? And the Lord said to Satan, uh, the adversary, the accuser, behold, all that he has is in your power. Go ahead, take everything he got. That's what he says. Only upon the man himself, put not your hand. You can't touch him. You can touch his stuff. Go, go ahead. And there was a day when Job's sons and his daughters were eating and drinking like earlier in the chapter in their eldest brother's house on his birthday. And there came a message to Job that said, the oxen and the plowing and the donkeys feeding beside them and the being swooped down upon them and took away the animals and have slain the servants of the hedge and the sword. Then while he was yet speaking, something else happened. And then verse 17, while he was yet speaking, something else happened. Verse 18, and while he was yet speaking, see, that's what the enemy tried to do. And while I was yet speaking, something else and something else and something else and something else. And behold, there came a great whirlwind from the desert and smote out the four corners of your house and it fell upon the young people and they are dead. So your people, your servants, your children, your oxen, all of your stuff is gone. Job rose and rent his robe and shaved his head and fell to the ground and worshiped. There was a moment on yesterday I had to close my office door, turn my face to the wall, and just worship. Manda, come on, that's what you got to do. Instead of giving into the fight, instead of giving into the mental warfare, then the Bible says he worshiped. And he confessed, that's all right. Naked, without possessions, came I. That's our perspective. We can't be attached to things. We got to learn to seek his face and not his hand. Naked have I come. Oh, God, help me. Strengthen us right now. How do I know that it was motivated in fear? If you look at Job chapter three, verse 25, the Bible says, Job said, read all of it, but Job said, for the thing which I greatly fear, comes upon me. And that day of which I am afraid befalls me. It has happened even as I have feared it would, is what he just said. So let's close the door on fear this morning. I hope I've said something to encourage your heart now, God. We look unto God, the God who is able to keep us from fear falling is shama come on come on let's start in the holy ghost shaba kiando labaka samando rebo shakanda rio shaba unto the god that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise god our savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forever father god we love you so much you have given us a warning of how and instructions of what we 
must do as the enemy tries to unleash his arsenal against us. Thank you for uncovering it in simplistic form. Thank you for showing it to us. Thank you for strategy, your divine strategy of confession and worship and standing and closing the door. Hey, Shabbat, Deban Dosha, and not giving over to feelings and not being bullied by the enemy's bad news and discouragement and fear and feelings and not moving out of our place and standing having done all to stand. Now, even as Jesus prayed, I pray not for myself, this morning, but for those who you have given unto us. I pray for those under the sound of Shatabai, Lekun Sinamaika, under the sound of my voice. I decree strength and spiritual strength and fortified places. I decree a knowing that spirit is greater than body. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, don't listen to the background noise. Don't listen to the background noise. Some of you are hearing things that people are saying and it's uh, affecting you in ways that's causing you to be weak in your faith. Some of it is family members. You can hear their thoughts or hear what they're saying and understand their thinking towards you, which causes you to be weak and it causes you to be in balance because those people you love the most seem to be the ones that's causing the most hurt and distraction. Be not moved by distraction. Jabako shabak. Some of you, it's your clients that you have served. I speak strength in your going, goings. I speak strength in the working of your hands. I speak, be ye strong, therefore, says the word, and let not your hands be weak. We come against weak hands. Today, we come against weak hands today. We come against its feeble knees today. Ushaba, lift up ye gates, Amansha, and be ye lifted up, O ye gates, Mansha Kandada. Be ye strong, therefore, and not be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Ha, Daba Shata, the King of Glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? Ha, the Lord God strong and mighty. And so we invite you in. When the saints go to worship, ah, that's when deliverance shall take place. Shama, that's somebody's song today. Oh, Shababa, oh, Shamanda, Ikando, Lakashaba, strength, strength be in your groin, strength be in your loins, strength be in your hands. Lord God, you teach our fingers to fight and our hands to war. Ikabansha, I wage a good warfare, children. Come on, come on, wage a good warfare. Wage a good warfare. Ebando sai, wage a good warfare. No shahaya, otamanda, ekemaya, strength, strength, strength. I speak strength be in your walls. I speak strength be in your mind. Abansha, let this mind be in you. Give an exchange. Come on, no worry today. No frustration today. Recognize distraction as a fuel for your success and a fuel for the manifestation. God, Numbers 23, 19, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent or change his mind. Hath he not said it? Oh, 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 ha, ha. In your arsenal, you must reaffirm, go back, read the scriptures, read the prophetic utterances. What did he say he would do? I hear him say, put me in remembrance of your word. That's why journaling is so important. You can write it down and read it. Huh? The Lord's decree. Hama, it shall not be long now. Oh, go Shabbat. He can die. It won't be long now. Man, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, shall he not do it? Hath he spoken, shall he not make it good? We pray for those who are weary this morning in the fight. We pray for those who are weary in the fight. Shama, Ika, Oko, Shama, Ekenda. We loose from ourselves, off of us, the spirit of fear, the spirit of anxiety, be anxious for nothing, but in all things, hallelujah, ha, 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 da, with prayer and thanksgiving, make your request known unto God, and the God of peace, yes, Lord, we believe that after we have suffered a while, the God of all grace comes, we pray for the manifestation today of the God of all grace, who imparts blessings and favor, we thank Thank you for favor. You had us reminded 
even before service on Friday night in prayer that you've had us praying for the favor of the Lord. Favor, go before us. Amanda, and we push. Handa, bahando, osha. We expect. You said it's ours. So we claim favor. Favor will go where our money can't. Favor will go where our natural strength can't. Favor will go where our feet cannot go. Favor will enter into rooms and in the hearts of men when there is a discussion regarding a discussion regarding the case or the situation. Oh, I hear you, God. I see you. You're a doctor. Hallelujah. But you're a lawyer in the courtroom. Oh, Shabbat. I see people around a table having matters of concern uh, uh, concerning you. I am not sure if this is the council of heaven or the council of earth. Samanda Shaba, but your name is coming up in discussion. What you do today, Manda matters. What you say today matters. Come on, Shaba. There is deliberation. Yes, God, I see that. It's in the courts of heaven concerning you. Oh Shama, he got stand. Amanda Handa Bosha. What you say, what you do, how you move matters in this season. Amanda, that's why the Bible says be well balanced, temperate, sober of mind, vigilant, uh, cautious at all times for the enemy of yours, the devil. Satan is the accuser of the brethren. He is looking for something to accuse you of. You didn't keep your confession. You didn't stay in the fight. You fainted and gave up. He is looking for something to bring an accusation against you in this season in the courts of heaven. Don't allow him. Give him no fuel. Give him no access. Stand firm in the faith. Cast all of your cares, all of your anxieties, all of your worries, all of your concerns. Be convinced that it is so. It won't be long now. God's decree. God said it is so. Manifestation is manifesting. It is so. Promises. Seed matters. Rain matters. And rain matters to those with seed in the ground. Water your seed. Praise, worship. I don't care what news you get. Come on. I'm giving you instructions straight from heaven this morning. Eba, shata, ba, kianda. I know I'm strengthening you for the fight. Strengthening you for the fight. We strengthen you for the fight. Huh. 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 Withstand him. Be firm in the faith against his onset. Rooted. Established. Strong, immovable, determined. Ah, Knowing that you're not the only one going through this, but come on, this time manifest. Amansha, this time don't quit. This time manifest. You're stronger, you're better, you're wiser. Don't give up. Ah, You'll not lose your mind. Let this mind be in you. Say what comes out of your mouth from the word of God. Let this mind. Nope, 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 nope. You're not weak. You're not weak. Be strong, therefore. Huh, huh. Be strong, therefore. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his uh, ah, shama. Manifest. Come on. Manifest the promise. Manifest the favor. Come on, come on. He manifests it through our fight. He uses our, it is, it is a, a conduit. I see it. Thank you. From heaven heaven to earth. Out of us is the manifestation. From him comes the favor, the manifestation. Through us, who are conduits, manifests in the earth that which is heaven's desire. Yes, I see that. I see that. Oh God, Abasha, I see me as a conduit. Abasha, God, right now, from heaven, through me, to earth. Ha! Shanda. He came on that. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, Maria. Come on, Shabbat. There's conversation concerning you in the courts of heaven. Oh, Shabbat. We'll not lose the fight. We'll not stop. We wage a good warfare. Hallelujah. We live, Zoe. We manifest promises. We're winning in spiritual warfare. We win. Come on. 
on somebody. We went ayabo shanda eke ma oto mande eke manda oban shana nando seke. I will sing of the goodness of the Lord. I will sing of the goodness of the Lord. I will sing. I still got a song. I got a song. I got a song. I got a song. Huh? And it ain't the blues this morning. Oh, Shabbat. I got a song that the angels cannot sing. I'm a shata and I been redeemed. And not only have I been redeemed, I've been redeemed to manifest. Remember, for the purposes for which he has come to the earth. Ha, shaman da da ba. Ha, Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, as we learned last week, which are not recorded in the book. But these things are written that you may believe that Jesus, the Messiah, is the Son of God. Listen, and that by believing, actively believing, you might have life in his name, Zoe, the God kind of life. Father, we turn our attention this morning and special requests going up now for one of our new families. Saints, the um, our newest family, the husband and wife joined not their grown children, but the Briscoes. Some of you have seen them come. Ma Shamandio. We're gonna spend some time praying for their family. They left church early Friday night because they had to go to work, but they came because they was like, at least I could get an hour in. Now I love that kind of saint. I got to work tonight. What time? Nine. Okay, come at seven. Leave at 8.30. I love it. Nobody told them that, but I love it. That's what we, I got to work. Okay, come get some Jesus. He ran around the church, got a little bit of Jesus. They had to scoot out for church, for work. But this family has been bringing their grandkids. And you might remember some of you, their daughter who was expecting very much pregnant and was um, to deliver. She lost her baby. And the last 48 hours or so has been very, 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 very difficult for them. May we pray for them and keep them on the prayer list. Father, we lift them up to you now. Get name. Shataba Nesikete Hotaman Shekete Bosha. Lord, we know that there is no distance in prayer. We lift up Alicia to you and Isaiah Briscoe to you and their daughter uh, and their entire family. Tara is the daughter's name who lost the baby, T-E-E-R-A. Uh, she's still in the hospital as of yesterday evening. Um, and mom has her children. We speak strength. Lord, I cannot even begin. To know. To thoroughly feel. Because I am not. Tierra. Tira. But Father, everybody on this line, right now we stand in the gap for you. Our children, family. Keep her mind, God. Keep her in peace. Samanda de Bahu Shatai. Otaman Shiketeo Samanda. We pray for those parents who are right there. Alicia and Isaiah Briscoe. Ha, 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 ha. Oh God. O Shamanda da Manda de Bahata. Anda Bahasha Kanda. Aya Bohosha. Ah. Lord, come on, saints, intercede. Ah, trying to get the names in the chat so you can continue to pray for them. It's hard to talk. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see it. Thank you. Oh, Banda. 
who come on that Lord go to the hospital room go to those children who who don't understand and go go Lord don't let them charge you foolishly even in this but father we pray you are a heart fixer I am I we don't know why we don't understand Oh God, Amanda Shemanda, but God, Amanda de Ochema. He under the Bokosha, only you can regulate her mind. Deman Shokondaba and help her heart in this season. And then the Namando Kosha Mande de Ochema. She was so ready. Manda, according to her own confession, speaking with me to deliver. Oh Shaba. Hitaban so coten and the de Kohotaba he died. Nendabai. Oh God. Oh God, Rabbi. I thank you for the Holy Spirit that helps us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Because in my own self, I am limited with words, but bashto, lekip kunstabai. Natabo shandabaki ashatabohusama. Netebo senamande debuhusanama. Ah, da bo shanda da da bakasha ka da da bakasha ta ta da da bokusha ta. Oh God, yes, I agree. May they feel your presence like never before. Touch those around her to be present when she needs them most. Handa da da bata ta ta da da bokusha. Handa ma, and while we're certain, I pray, Lord, just da ba namanda shekete oshama. Ha, only you, only you, God, only you, only you, be your healer. Be her stabilizer, be their strength. In the name of Jesus, we pray for everyone in the chat. Every person in the chat, every person that's been dealing with the pressure of the enemy, we put pressure on our pressure withstanding him. We pray in the Nanda da Bohusha Kanda da da Bakashata. Nishiketi Oshama. Fight for us. Fight for us. Fight for us. Shatata da da Bahasha Kata da da Bakata Bakuhusha Kata. Fight for us. Amanda da da Bokusha Kata. Shatabai. We pray. Amanda da da Bakasa. For minister gathers this morning. We lift up her sister Marlene Robinson and all we have is the Holy Ghost which helps our infirmities, our inabilities to produce results in prayer. So in the Holy Ghost we pray it is still the season of manifestation. We pray for holy light. Pastor David Brown Jr. Kamanda da da bakushanda da 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 bakia ta 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 ta. Rokusha ba ye kamanda da da bakanda bakusha kata. We lift up Wesley Greg to you, da ban shakata, as he is recovering from surgery. Yet he is a caregiver for his wife. We pray for the both of them. Manda ba shake help God, Lord God. Only you know ba shakanda da ba the ins and the outs. You know the strategy that is needed. You know the connection that must be made. Ah, Shamanda, we lift up Waivani this morning to you. We curse. We're not praying for that sciatic nerve pain. We're not praying for it. Jesus didn't pray for sickness. He cursed it and he rebuked it. He didn't pray for it. He cursed it or he rebuked it. And so I rebuke. Somebody's unmuted. I rebuke. Now, Shamanda, ba. I rebuke that sciatic nerve pain in your body in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of, we pray for traveling mercies for Deacon Orville today and all of us as we go to and fro in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus. And it is so. We will not be afraid of evil tidings today. We lift up Apostle Daniels to you. Yes, Lord, Rabbi Shaman, da, 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 ba, ko, Some of us, the way you have wired us, require that we stay on guard and always have to fight in certain areas. Strengthen him in the fight. 
as for me, I constantly throw off opportunities for depression. Suicidal thoughts does not come as often, but occasionally in the enemy's arson, arson. And so for him, we come against and give him the ability to stand against the spirits of grief and loss, and the effects thereof. We pray for strength, we send strength. From your holy hill, we sin and we pray for strength. We pray for Maya this morning. I pray that she does not lose her mind. I pray that stress does not overwhelm her. I pray for the favor of the Lord to go before her. I come against every spirit in that school system that continues to try to find open doors to weaken her. Y'all pray for my baby's mental strength and her strength and her stamina. You are a liar. She's facing demonic assailants. In the spirit, let her be fortified in her faith. In the name of Jesus, Shabanda. Overwhelm every family and those people that are dealing with loss and grief and loneliness and disappointment during this season. Oh, those people who feel alone and who isolate themselves, we come against the spirit of isolation. God, let us see those that we can pull out. If we're able, I lift up. Shavina revels to you and the revels family to you. And Dabasha come against cooperating with the spirit of isolation and the levels of grief. And Tatana, the enemy wants to take her out with and speak to her mind for stabilization. Stabilization. Come against obstinate spirits. Come against strongholds of isolation. The enemy's plan is always isolate and destroy. I come against the spirit of offense in this season. Y'all don't let the spirit of offense come and ride. That's one of his things. He's going to bring spirits of offense. Shakanda. I come against the spirit of manipulation that people are using to try to make people do what they want them to do. Shata. Rather than understanding someone else's position, it's a spirit of manipulation. Rebuke it. Kushamanda, resist it. And so, Father, we thank you for everyone under the sound of my voice today. I believe the Holy Spirit of God has spoken to encourage, to uplift, to build, to strengthen. Come against every sickness and every disease today. Hallelujah. Before we end this line, those of you who can, I need you to make a confession. This is the confidence that we have in you, that whatever we ask according to your will, that you hear us. And since we know that you have heard us, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of you. And hell is going to try it. He's going to come after your confession, but some of you must confess. So I need you to write something in the chat, your belief system, decree your day, decree what it is for you, something that has been said, something that resonate. Come on, I don't know, make a, a confession of faith concerning you and your fight. Hallelujah today to win in spiritual warfare. I confess uh, that I shall not die, but live and declare the wondrous works of the Lord. Come on, put something in the chat. I declare that's how we're ending today. Make a sound, make a confession. I decree that I win. I decree that I will worship regardless of the news. I decree that I understand and clearly understand that, yes, I walk in victory. I've already won. It doesn't matter the discouragement, the bad news, the bully spirits, the lies, the fear, the feelings, the power of suggestion. Nope, I'm guarding myself against all of that. I will not be confused. I will not live in doubt, walk in doubt, and I will not have twisted thinking. No, sir. Come on, come on, come on. I declare and decree that God will always get the glory. Oh, yes, he'll always get the glory. I've already won. I love it. Come on, come on, come on. Make some confessions before we leave. I'm not changing my, I'm changing my words. Always good happens to me. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. Y'all, yes, for some of y'all who keep saying, if it ain't one thing, it's another. That's you agreeing with the power of darkness and his arsenal, arsenal against you. You. Stop saying that. If it ain't one thing, child, it's another, but it's all right. No, it's not all right. Change it. 
Change that. Your faith is demanding the one thing and the other. Come on, I decree and declare, God gets the glory. I win. I stand firm in the faith. I love it. Usha, come on, come on, come on. He sneaks these little confessions on us and our minds saying they sound like they're right, but they're religious and they're wrong. I will not walk in fear. Hallelujah, I decree that I win. No fear here. I'm not making any sacrifices out of fear. I'm not motivated to live for God by fear. I will walk in the full manifestation that God's get the God gets the glory. I will manifest. It's the season ah, of manifestation of the promises of God. It won't be long now. Ha Shabbat. Ha ha. It won't be long now. I'm on Shabbat. I decree I'm fortified in the faith. I'm built for this. Come on, somebody. I'm built for it. 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 I'm bring it. Come on. I'm on Shabbat. The time is now. I love it. Come on. Just a few more moments. I'm a, you can hang up if you need to. A few more moments. Come on, come on. We're getting strength from you. The people of God is gaining strength from your, are gaining strength for your confession. I decree I will better today than ever. Hallelujah. That I, listen, I decree that I see. I see the enemy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm vigilant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sober. I'm well balanced. I'm andasha. I'm cautious. I'm da -da -da -ba -kasha at all times. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm clear. Yep, yeah, my business is increasing. My, I don't care what they say. Uh -huh. Get your hands off of my money, devil. We pray for Juanita Brown. Release Amanda. Heal. Long life. Length of days. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I shall win and not lose. I love it. Yes, 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 yes. I decree this is my season of manifestation. Oh, Shamanda, da, 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 many manifestations. Miracles, signs, and wonders are my portion. Favor, come on, come on. Come on. Favor is my portion. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're being fortified in the faith. My feeble knees are no longer feeble. They're strengthened. I lifting up, I lift up my hands and I worship. Hallelujah. Breaking forth on purpose, in purpose. I love it. Yes, Shata. I am who God says I am. I will do what God says I can do. I will have what God says I can have. Oh, Shabanda. My children are blessed. My family is best. Our ministry is blessed. Everything my hand touches is blessed. Aman Shaka. I'm attached to the giver of things, not to things. Amanda. I'm in love with the giver of life, not the giver of things. Shama. I am not seeking his hand, but I'm seeking his face. But I thank you for the manifestation of favor. It won't be long now. So you're blessed today in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you. Be merciful unto you and grant you peace. Traveling mercies today, be victory everywhere you go. Let the light of the glorious gospels of God shine through you. Favor is your portion. Go through the day saying that favor is my portion. It's the season of manifestation because he is the God and of the and he is the keeper of promises made. Make it a great day. Bye now. See you later. Ashamanda. Ikedabar. Yeshamanda. See you later. Koshama. See you later. Moshama. See you later. Favor is my portion. Aman shine. Yes, God. Yes, God. Favor is my portion. Devil, take your hands off my baby. She walks in that school. Devil. Every spirit. In Jesus' name. Good surgery today. We pray for a surgery, a successful surgery for. Deaconess Winley's mom, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You'll forever get the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, bye. Bye now.